Alright guys, welcome back to Minecraft. This is me on the North Crack server. Um, yeah, I just told the guys I'll be recording so they mind their language and the obviously obvious uh, banter ensued. Anyways, I've done my bedroom properly now. As you can see, my usual glowstone lamps, I believe they look stylish. Lots of bookshelves, because I like reading. Night lamp. Um, this bed area I'm not 100% happy with yet. It's a bit small, really, but at least it's functional. So some change might happen there, but not much. Got some plants. My wardrobe. Individual um, doors, so you can get your clothes easily. Um, and I thought now maybe we could work on the garden. This used to be the cow farm, of course, but since um, we have a cow farm at spawn and I can get to spawn quite quickly, I decided to um, kill all the cows. This chest sadly is quite full, so removing it might be a bit of a pain. Oh well. I guess it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I suppose this um, this is all nice. I've done some work here as well, which I believe I haven't shown you. I've added a um, large staircase. This is a, my usual 6x6 design, which I like quite a lot because it makes all the steps 2x2, um, two two. so it's all all very even, without looking too structured, I think. Again, I've put glowstone stone brick in the middle. I might do something um, different here. Similar like uh, similar to the last server, but I won't do the waterfall thing, but I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to end up doing. Anyways, I've moved stuff around a bit here. Um, changed how this all looks. Made the um, sugarcane farm a little bigger. And, as you can see, I've also done some brewing. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've changed down here. Um, I'm also not 100% certain I showed you the final um, garden setup here. Well, it's not final, really, but... I finished the platform, planted the grass, um, and it spread out. Of course, this is not going to be the final stage. I'm just keeping it as an open area at the moment, so I can plant trees, basically, in case I need more wood. And down here will be just my private garden for um, leisure reasons, basically. So I can look at it from my bedroom. Go away. Um, and the entrance will be right here somewhere in this would, what will probably become an entrance hall. Okay, so I think I'll get some plants ready and I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for the weather, but I can't help it. Um, I'll do my usual benches here. I'm hoping you don't get bored of these because I think they look quite stylish. Um, because obviously this garden will need benches. Um, I think I will keep the fence around the perimeter. It's not meant to be a very large garden. But what I will do is not mess up my inven inventory organization. And I will build a kind of hill here. But it's supposed to look a bit like a, I don't know, large flower pot ish thing. Which I'm sure there's a name for, but I don't know it. Kind of like. Somewhere I will plant a tree, basically. Um, I would like it to be a large tree, but. I don't remember exactly how you could force them to grow large, so...
maybe it was something similar to this where you would force them to um, grow large like this but yeah as I said um, I don't actually know but well we can try put some torches down to make sure it's lit well enough more flowers here, that's nice. And I've got the saplings on me. Um, yeah. Oaks are the only trees that can actually grow large, so... I did get a lot of bone meal from spawn, but it doesn't seem like this tree is going to grow at all. Like this, so... Let's try... now. Yeah. I've got loads of um, bones and bone meal left, so I'll just spam this entire stack. Um, and this is not a large tree. So that trick obviously doesn't work anymore. Um, I'll get rid of all this leaf crap and be right back. Alright, as you can see the tree has grown now. It's um, nice and large, which is what I was looking for. I think they can grow larger now, but this is fine. Um, for lighting, I think I will put torches on the um, fence. Because torches seem like a good way to light a garden, somehow. doesn't seem um, that bad. Indoors, I prefer using glowstone. But for a garden, something else works. So okay, I'll put one here and one here. It's not exactly symmetrical, but I think I can't help that. And then one here and one here. Yeah. That way the perimeter is nice and lit. Um, the bottle lock light in the middle does dip down to 7, occasionally 6, but I think that was in mid-air. Yeah, this is um, this air block here. Which means I will need to put some sort of light uh, in the middle. Um, I'll also need to get some gravel. Be right back. As you can see, I've already put down the gravel path, and I think for the um, lighting, I'll just use these extended torches, I guess. Um, I don't need too many of them, really. Maybe another one here. And these look like torches you would put in a garden for decoration. So that's fine. Um, I guess some grass and some flowers around the tree. Like so. That's nice. And then... Hmm, actually, I think I'll make these um, dirt blocks as well. Here's the dirt and some gravel as well. Because obviously the gravel path needs to lead um, to the door or from the door, depending on what way you're going, I guess. Yeah, this looks nice. Now, back to the grass. And I like to have my food on the bar at all times, I feel. I feel a bit, I don't know, strange without food. Then I can easily see. No real reason, I guess. Okay. Now, the grass sadly looks quite large, but... um. I'm not sure if there's any way to help that. Except maybe get rid of it all, but that would seem excessive. Okay, some more flowers here. Some grass, okay, can't put grass there. And maybe this part of the garden is where um the grass has not been trimmed as well. 
Okay, well, I think this can be... This could be nice. What I do need is a tiny little pond, I believe. I'm not sure this is... Well, I don't really have much choice as to where I'll put it, I guess. So maybe here. And I've only got one bucket. But luckily, in this place, there's no shortage of water. Perfect. Um, actually... Go away, maybe? No. Um... Yeah, actually, I want to fill that up. This shovel is too fast. More gravel, right here. More dirt, right here. And I think that's the original shape, so... I will make the um, the bottom of the pond fl um, dirt as well. I think I've got my glowstone in here. Yes, I do. It's always funny how you start off a building um, with a nice and sorted inventory, and by the end of it, you've got lots of crap. Okay, this is nice. This looks fine. Yeah, nice and tranquil. Um, actually, this torch seems a little in the way. Might put it here instead. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. Of course, then it'll be in the way when I try to look out from my bedroom. Hmm. You see, it's those tiny de details that can take me a long time to figure out. Maybe here? I guess that's nice, because then it could kind of warm you while you're sitting on the bench, if it's slightly cold outside. So yeah, I think this is, um, this is the garden finished for now. Turned out nice. At least, I think it did. Um, I'll see what I'll do next, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back on the North Crack server this time. Uh, on the Vortex server. I keep getting confused myself, sorry. Um, anyways. I have actually done quite a bit of stuff um, since, well, since the last recording, I guess. But most of it has been mining and underground work. Um, I'm not really working on any secret project or anything, but... Mining is not very interesting, and um, all I've really done is dug out massive shafts and um, some rooms for future storage, because my island is getting slightly filled with chests. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll start the next bridge somewhere here, and it's going to be a small one, just like, just like this. Um, what height was that on? Okay. So... Yeah. This height. Well, that's lost forever. Okay. Well, that's orbit joining. Um, now I believe I want to go down one then. And make it four long. Like so. Go down one. Make it four long. Then obviously I need to get rid of the one where I went down. Um, well, that was fun. Ah, perfect. And once more, some sneaky axing. Um, 
getting off of here will be difficult. So, well, I guess there's nothing for it. It's time to jump. Well, this isn't any, like, hardcore series or anything, so... I guess I might as well take some damage. It's not like I can't reach an egg. Reach and back up. Keep confusing myself with what I want to say. Um, I hope it's not te too tedious to listen. Anyways, this is the main part of the bridge done then. It's not a long one. Um, it's just going to lead over here, which is where I'll set up the brewing tree. Um, I'll finish doing this and I'll see you afterwards. The bridge is done now. I've also put some torches down. Um, it may be a bit premature to actually build this thing because I haven't got um, pretty much any brewing ingredients so far. Aside from like the obvious ones which you can't really avoid getting. But in general I'm um, not really at a point where I will start brewing really. But I've got some blaze rods. I think I'll only make about four um, brewing stands though. I can keep the rest of the rods for um, stuff, I guess. So, back up my tree I go. I quite like how this um, is turning out, aside from me being not very good at clim climbing vines. This torch might just have to go. But um, I like how this um, this base place is currently kind of like not too intrusive. Um, I try to keep as much structure of the trees as possible. Um, of course this is limiting me severely in terms of space because I can't really make like large open rooms. It's all got to be stacked on top of each other like, well, like my farm here I guess. Okay, so the um, railings only, sta only starts at this point here because I want to be able to get down to the carrot farm. Or whatever I'm going to farm on that place eventually. Um, so I think I'll need a few chests. Okay, I can open that, that's nice. And I will need some brewing stands, which I'll also need wood for, so I can um, put them on top of it. Um, yeah. I'm thinking. Like, wait. Need the jungle leaves. When you start breaking stuff, some leaves inevitably decay, so... Not always ideal, but you know, it can be helped. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the place where um, I would be standing, and then here's where I'll be doing the brewing. Um, I will need a double chest here, I think. I'll put the torch there for now. Um, that's mostly because potions are unstackable, so you probably need not a lot of space for them. And then down here, after some more complicated trying to get around, which is going to be made easier by this. Um, this is where I'll plant the nether ward. Again, a 9 by ni uh, 3 by 3 square is going to be enough to um, have a steady supply. You don't use that much of it. I don't have any slow sand yet, so again, this is a um, placeholder. But yeah, this will be enough for functional brewing. I don't usually do large-scale brewing anyway, so this is easily enough. Um, and it looks nice. And yeah, I've got some neighboring trees that I could also use. 
Um, I'm not going to make everything easily accessible, as I've said before. Um, okay, I can fall down here, that's nice. Um, but yeah, it's not. Oh, there's not going to be like a straight way from every tree to every other tree. Um, sometimes you're going to have to go via other tr trees and climb up and down to get to different levels on the tree. All that good stuff. Um, I guess this might make maneuvering around my base a little tedious. So it's possible that in the long run that's actually going to change. If it um, annoys me too much. But I think it is nice in so far as that it makes it, um, I don't know, seem a little more realistic, I guess. Because if you are in a real jungle, you can't always just go straight to where you want to go because trees get in the way. And I know it's not necessary to have built stuff realistically in Minecraft. Sometimes it's not even possible. But I strive to somehow, um, I don't know, make it, make it fit so that some of the, some of the issues and problems you will get in a real treehouse, I'm trying to incorporate into my build as well. Like falling down and having to find your way back out again. So, I'm just really trying to remove the um, scaffolding I put up. Ah, yes, perfect. I can reach it. Okay. This is nice. Um, I can get out this way and then get over to the brewing tree. And from here we could go down to the netherward farm. Work in progress, as I said. And then maybe connect to the next tree. I want to connect to that one, but that's not going to be from here. I'll build a small platform here. Which, because the trees are so close, it's not going to be a bridge. But a real proper platform. There you are, jungle wood. Jungle wood I do have enough of since I keep replanting trees um, and chopping them down for uh, saplings. Because some of the trees I've seen around here, they're um, not big enough, so I will have to well, chop them down and hope for them to get bigger, basically. Um, the one down there, you see I'm looking at it right now. That one I planted myself, but it's not tall enough, so I'm going to have to chop that one down as well. Eventually. Okay, so this will get me to this medium branch on this tree, which is nice. Um, I will add some safety rail, I guess. Not too much, maybe like so. Um, yeah. Vines are a pain, let me tell you that. Okay, like so, this is nice. And then I'll make it connect. Sadly, you can't get, um, jungle wood fences and stuff. I guess it's because you make the transi transition to sticks, so you would need to have like different sticks for every wood type and that does seem quite um, I don't know, excessive. Okay, so then maybe here you could go up like this to get to this branch. Now I have no idea what it's going to be. Um, someone suggest someone like gave me lots of suggestion suggestions for what I would or could build. Um, a lot of it seemed reasonable. That's where I got the brewing idea, brewing stand idea from. But sadly, I am um, forgot to save it anywhere, so That's sort of lost forever. I'll just have to ask again, I guess. But yeah, this will be the netherward farm, and then you can go over to this tree over here, jump up to get to this, t well, top branch, I guess. Hmm. And from here, of course, I could build the bridge over to that tree, which is also nice and high, and I could slowly make my way towards that one. 
um, which I might do soon. So I'll be seeing you later, I guess. Okay, I'm back. I didn't do any more work, as you might have noticed or might not. As I said, most of the stuff I've done here was underground, so I'm not going to show you that because it's boring. And don't expect a secret project or anything. It was literally just mining and building um, storage rooms and stuff. Because I get a lot of lava here, mining takes a while. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm completely lost now. Oh, wait, no, not. But yeah, what I wanted to say is, um, damn it. And damn it, some more. Oh well, can't be helped. I'll fix that later. Anyways, what I wanted to say is, um, time's up. This has been a long enough episode now, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I like both of the builds I've got going on. Some people will probably have their favorites, but uh, they're very different, and the challenges I face, even though some of them are similar, some of them are very different as well, so I have to say I really enjoy both of them. And I will continue on both of them as long as I'm, well, not banned, I guess. But the Northcrank server at least is fine with me being on two servers, as long as I've got enough time, so... That's good. Um, but anyways, that was it from me for today. Um, see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.